Hi Oilers, this is Helen with your Oiler TV news update and here's the latest. Are you all tied up on shoes that you don't want anymore? Take the extra step and donate your old shoes at the Montebello Intermediate Shoe Drive. The collection starts now until February 23rd at 1600 Whittier Boulevard, where they will take your used shoes off your hands. Be a good soul and donate. Listen up Oilers, this year is flying by fast. That means it's time to start thinking about your classes next year. Not just any classes, but your electives too. If you're not sure what you want to learn about, don't worry. Take a look at the Euler TV's 2024-25 elective playlist on YouTube. There are a wide variety of fun elective courses that may interest you that offer real world skills that will be essential after high school. Your counselors will be programming students soon. Parents. You are all invited to join the Montebello High School Drug Awareness Parent Meeting. Important topics like substance abuse, drug identification, and resources will be discussed. The meeting will take place this Thursday, January 18th at 9.15 a.m. in the library. Here's a safety tip. The Auto Insurance Task Force will be hosting VIN markings on catalytic converters to help prevent the rise of theft converters in your community. This free service will be hosted by the MESD Transportation Department this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. The process only takes five minutes and once again, it's free. Interested in showing off your talent? Euler TV is hosting the online talent contest again this year and the talent show begins now. Contestants can aim to win the Golden Euler Award of 2024. We are looking for all kinds of unique talents such as magic, musicians and all others. Scan the QR code on screen and fill out the Google form to come and showcase your talent in front of our Euler TV crew. Good luck Oilers! Oilers, don't feel defeated by the life challenges that surround us. Download the connected app for schools with the QR code on screen and join today by using the code MHS2100. Your well-being is a priority. Hey Oilers, Tyson here, and this is the College Desk News. Congratulations to our seniors who have been accepted to colleges and universities. Well done! So what's next, you ask? Financial aid? Scholarships? More scholarship opportunities will be available in C13, and they are coming in February. In the meantime, check out scholarships.com, fastweb.com, or bold.org. There are lots of scholarships that are up for grabs, so don't wait. Are you having problems with your FAFSA submission? Don't worry. The FAFSA website may be going through some glitches, so just keep trying. And heads up, seniors, you will also make your way to the college office on the 24th and 25th of this month. The FAFSA is a requirement for all seniors. It's free college money. So get it done. Be sure to see Mrs. Brenzel in room C13 for more information. This has been Tyson reporting about everything you need for college. The opportunities are out the Oilers. Make sure to step it up and stay safe. Seniors, become an MHS Alumni Association member today with the QR code on screen and help recognize amazing Euler alumni. Your membership contribution helps raise money for outstanding Euler scholarships that are non-GPA based. What is up Oilers? I'm Nate. And I'm Mika. And this is News Beyond Our Campus. The cruising car culture is back, making the historic Whittier Boulevard colorful again after a 35-year ban. Governor Gavin Newsom lifted the 1988 car cruising ban in the state, which means that cruising your low rider on Whittier Boulevard is officially no longer a crime. Cruise responsibly, Oilers, and let's keep the peace and beauty of the car culture, which now resumes. Cup of Noodles will unveil its new microwave safe cup soon. The soup will be packaged in a new microwave safe cup with all your favorite flavors. The new cup will reduce cooking time to 2 minutes and 15 seconds, so you no longer have to wait anxiously for those dreadful 3 minutes that sometimes may have seemed like an eternity. The new cup of noodles will be introduced in stores early this year. For more information, please visit nissanfoods.com or follow at Original Cup of Noodles on Instagram. A new law this year establishes that the California Golden Chanterelle is the official state mushroom. The California Golden Chanterelle is an edible mushroom found underneath the California oak trees. It is a symbol of rich and biodiversity of California. The official state mushroom of California will promote education, appreciation, and the study of mushrooms in the state. Welcome the new state mushroom. There's always much room for a fungi. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Duarte wants to remind you, get real-time essential info about events, school reminders, and all the essential info that students need to know straight from your principal. Use the QR code on screen to join the group exclusively for students. Hey Oilers, I'm Helen, and I'm Honesty with, with your, your freshman, freshman year. year. Freshman, the second semester started last week. Did you pass all your classes? If not, credit recovery will be starting this week. Mrs. Gonzalez will be meeting with us soon for credit checks. Good news, freshman. MHS is offering eight different college courses this spring through the ELAC dual enrollment program. However, all courses will be online. The classes are Administration of Justice 1, Anthropology 101, Child Development 1, Child Development 11, and Communications 101, Electroengineering Technology 123, Manufacturing and Industrial Technology 220, and Political Science 1. The workshop will be in the College Center C13 on January 23rd during periods 1 through 6. You must register to attend the workshop. Register today because registration deadline is January 19th. See the flyer on the screen. If you have any questions or need assistance, see Ms. Brenzel in C13. Join, Join and, and have, have fun. fun. Hey Oilers, it's Edmund and Charlene with the Oiler Weather Update. We are finally experiencing real SoCal winter weather. We will start our Monday morning with 47 degrees and rising to 70 degrees. The sun will be shy on Tuesday with a low of 48 degrees and our high at 69 degrees. Into the middle of our week on Wednesday, we will start our day off at 51 degrees and in the afternoon our high will be 70 degrees. On Tuesday, with partially cloudy skies, our temperatures will be 53 degrees, rising to our highest this week at 72 degrees. On Friday, we will have another fresh morning at 53 degrees and rising to 70 degrees. Saturday will continue cold with a low of 53 degrees and our highest at 69 degrees. We will end our week with 30% chance of rain on, on Sunday, with our lowest being 52 and rising to 68 for our afternoon. Not bad compared to the rest of the country. Stay warm, Oilers! Hey Oilers, I'm Diego. And I'm Darlene. And this is your latest in Oilerville Sports. Our Oilers on the match will bring the fury this week. On Wednesday, January 17th, they will face Bell Gardens starting with JV Boys at 5.30 p.m., Girls Varsity at 6 p.m., and Boys Varsity at 6.30 p.m. Then, all wrestling teams will compete at the Allman League Finals Tournament here at home, where they will aim to beat the competition starting at 9 a.m. Let's get it done, Oilers! This Tuesday, our Montebello Oilers basketball team will go head-to-head -head against Mark Keppel with freshmen at 3.30 p.m., JV at 5.30, and then varsity at 6.30. Then witness this intense rivalry between our Montebello Oilers and the Sure Spartans on January 19th, this Friday, where our Oilers will go up the hill with freshmen at 4 p.m., JV at 5.30 p.m., and varsity at 7 p.m. Let's get it done, Oilers. Uh, today's game went good. Uh, luckily, we won against our rivals 6 1. Everything went as expected. Uh, now we just focus up against BG for next week. Winners. Go, goes to make it to the finals, of course, but we just gotta keep playing together. Day hopefully, everything goes, hopefully everything goes as planned. We feel pretty good. Uh, a lot of people came out to watch, and we appreciate that. Uh, as he said, league is always our first goal, and then we're going for CIF. BG's next. <laughs> you heard the Oilers. Our boys soccer team will face the Lancers tomorrow at the BG Turf to claim victory. JV will start at 4 p.m., Varsity will play at 5.30 p.m., and Freshman at 6.45 p.m. Then on Thursday, they will face Mark Keppel with JV at 4 p.m. and Varsity at 5.30 p.m. Good luck, boys. Girls basketball will bring the Oilers spirit against Mark Keppel this week. 
It begins with JV at 5 p.m. and then Varsity at 6.30 p.m. Then on Friday here at home, the rivalry continues as we face the Sure Spartans with again JV at 5.30 and Varsity at 7. Show them whose house this is, ladies. Hi guys, today we're here with our varsity captain, Monique. Monique, how do you think you did in today's game? I think we did good. We got our first win at home. The girls soccer team will face the Lancers this Tuesday, January 16th with JV at 4 p.m. and varsity at 5.30 p.m. Then on Thursday, January 18th, we will face off against Mark Keppel with JV at 4 p.m. and Varsity again at 5.30 p.m. Let's hear it for the girls, Oilers. Our girls water polo team will make a splash against Bell Gardens on Friday the 17th at 4 p.m. Then on the 18th and 19th, our JV will be playing against Los Altos Hacienda Heights tournament to make a huge splash against the competition. Show them who's boss, ladies. Raising Cane Chicken Fingers is here as our proud Oilerville sponsor. Download the app or order online at RaisingCanes.com. Good luck to all the teams this week. And stay, stay competitive, competitive Oilers. Oilers. What is up, Oilers? I'm Nate. And I am Mika. <laughs> Sorry. Why did, they why freeze? did you sigh like why, that? I don't know why I froze. That... No, we'll be like this. We'll be like... Oh, shoot. It's recording. <laughs> hey, you heard it, Oilers. While many of us have exposed ourselves to cancerous materials already for some time. <laughs> <laughs> some time. Our water polo girls will make a splash. Yeah. Girls water polo. This is water polo girls. 